work, shall we? Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning you good. On today's episode, things get a little crazy. Thanks to this request, Random Row asked, it would be cool if you uploaded a tutorial on how to do the Scarlet Witch effect. Hmm, I agree, it would be cool. So let's get to it, shall we? In order to complete this effect, you need to shoot your actor pretending to shoot out whatever Scarlet Witch shoots out from her hands. Kinda looks like that poison ivy dust from Batman and Robin. Or is that just me? You'll also need a copy of Trap Code Particular, as we'll be repurposing our custom Quicksilver Particle effect from a few weeks back to achieve our look. Now that we've got all that ready, let's get to it. Okay guys, let's do this thing. As you can see, I have my shots set up in a comp and ready to go. I'll also briefly go over the two-handed attack as well, as the method for creating both is pretty much the same. Now, our first step is to download the project file in the description that contains the comp right here called Energy. Now, as I mentioned before, if you have Trap Code Particular, this will open just fine. If you don't, it's not going to. If you click here and watch our Quicksilver tutorial, I explain in depth how to build these particles. If we take a look at the settings, I've only changed a few things from our Quicksilver particles to turn them into the Scarlet Witch Energy. I've changed the emitter type to box, the velocity down to 20, but the one I want you to take note of is the velocity from motion, which is set to 40. With this setting ramped up, our particles react and disperse to our animation's momentum, which is especially important when we're making a smoky energy. The only other settings I've tweaked are in the physics settings down here, setting the wind x to minus 84, and in the turbulence fields, I've set the scale to 1000. Both of these, like the velocity, are just to aid the particles to move a little bit more like smoke. But just like me, feel free to have a play with all of the settings once you have your shot set up and see what works for you. Now speaking on setting up, how about we do just that? Let's copy our particle layer and paste it onto our footage layer and change the transfer mode to screen. We'll also turn on motion blur for both the comp and the layer. Whew, I'm tired already. So much effort. From there, we're gonna hit the stopwatch on position X, Y up top here, and then go frame by frame, matching the movements of our hand until we launch our attack and send it out of the shot. Let's check out a preview. It's getting there, but on to the next step. Since our energy has to build up, we're gonna animate the amount of particles it generate. So let's head back to our first frame, hit the stopwatch on particles per second, head to the point where my hand is fully upright, and then we're gonna crank that amount up to 1200. Okay, that's our particle stuff done. Pretty painless so far, guys. Time to enhance our effect with a few adjustment layers. Let's head up, grab a new adjustment layer, stay up, don't you go down, head to effect, generate and grab CC light rays. I almost feel like I shouldn't even bother saying that I use it so much. So here's what we do. Head to the point where our arm is fully upright and move the center point into place on top of our hand. We'll then hit the stopwatch on intensity and center and then we'll change the radius to 92, the warp softness to 87. We'll then go frame by frame, tracking the center point of our light rays to our hand until we follow it off screen, just like our energy. Now remember that intensity? You should, we only did it a minute ago. Time to animate it. Let's head to the first frame of our light rays animation, right here. We'll then backtrack four frames and crank that intensity right down to zero. We'll then head eight frames forward and crank it up to 147. Now, let's check out a preview, shall we? Much better, it now charges up and releases. But let's add one last thing. Let's head up, add a new adjustment layer, stay up, head to effect, distort, and add turbulent displace. Now from there, let's head to the start of the comp, hit the stopwatch on evolution, head to the end of the comp, and crank it up to two. Next, we'll change the size to 12, head to the point just before we unleash the energy right here, Hit the stopwatch on amount and crank it down to zero. We'll then move ahead two to three frames and then crank that amount back up to 75. We'll then scrub ahead a few frames past our energy going completely off screen and then crank that amount down to zero. Our last step is to grab the pen tool and draw a rough mask around the arm area like so. We'll then hit F and feather that out around 100 pixels. Preview time. All right. Well, that shot's done. 
Now I just want to briefly mention the other shot where I'm using two hands. Now I've animated the particles the exact same way, but I did change one setting. As my right hand is moving around very quickly, I turned the velocity from motion down to 21, as the particles were going a bit crazy with the movement and flinging around. You can play around with this setting to find out what works for you and your hand movement. You may have also noticed a shockwave comes out of my hands this time. To do this, all I did was grab Shockwave 04 from Video Copilot's Shockwave collection. I'll have a link to that in the description if you're interested. Dropped it into the comp at the point of launching my energy, and I changed the transfer mode to add. From there, I made it 3D, moved it into place using the position controls, turned on motion blur for the layer, hit P, I then hit the stopwatch on position and animated the C-space and the position controls to sort of sell the illusion that it was expanding as it was leaving the frame. I also colorized it with Video Copilot's Color Vibrance plugin to match my energy. But whether you have Shockwave or not, it doesn't really matter guys. If I take it out of the shot, it still works, so I'll leave that one up to you. We'll cover exploding someone in a later episode, as I'm working on making that look cool still. But as for these shots, like my dog's dinner, they are done. Add up all of those steps and you get something like this. Let's get to work, shall we? So that's my take on Scarlet Witch's energy effect. Once you get the particles set up and out of the way, it really isn't that hard to pull off, and the end result looks pretty sweet. But that's my time, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and share it. If you're new around these parts, why not hit that there subscribe button? For previews of upcoming episodes, hit me up on Facebook and Twitter. My name is Scott Leeson, and until next time, keep learning! Hell, that was supposed to work. Why didn't it work? For God's sake!